going to be doing a video which I haven't done before and I saw another YouTuber do it a while ago and it's called finished products hits and misses. So what I'll be doing today is I'll be going through this bag of things that I've finished recently and I'll be saying if it's a hit or a miss and if I am planning on buying it again. I don't know if you can tell but my dog is in the background so she might feature in this video. Hopefully she doesn't crawl all over me or anything because then this will take a lot longer to film than I've hoped. <laughs> If you've been watching my videos for a while, you would have noticed that my ombre is mostly gone. I dyed over it recently because I started to not like the blondes that much, which was kind of silly because I went through all that trouble and then it's gone now, but the ombre is still slightly there. I really wanted to get it done professionally, but I didn't have the money, so instead this is the first product, by the way, I'll be talking about. I used the L'Oreal Casting Cream Gloss and it's in the shade Chocolate Chestnut. I know that it's kind of silly to put in here because once you start using it, you know you're going to finish using it, but I thought I would feature it in here because I knew that someone was going to say something about my hair, so that explains everything. I really like this product. I have used it a lot in the past because before I got my ombre I went through lots of different stages where my hair was more red and more black and back and forth but I always use this brand. Well I didn't always but I mostly use this brand because I liked it the best. I will most likely be using this again as when my regrowth comes through it's going to look a little silly because it's a lot lighter than that but hopefully my ombre still stays. I know you guys can't see it very well because I'm looking in the mirror right now and I can't see it, but there's just a slight difference in color from the bottom to the top, so hopefully that stays. Now because the rest of the products are in this bag, I'm just going to close my eyes, well I don't have to close my eyes, look away and just grab something out, right? What is this? I accidentally put something in here which is full. How awkward. Ooh, this is an interesting one. You might have seen me do a review just on that, this product a while back. I think it was about six months ago. And it's a skin cleansing balm by the brand Happy Skincare, and it's called Cloud Nine. I'm going to be leaving a link to that video in the description. So if you'd like to have more details on the Happy Skincare range, then you can look at that video. And I trial them all out and I talk about them a lot. So that might be really useful. It's 100% naturally sourced and has 85% organic ingredients. And my mum received a little sample pack. So it had this and a cleanser and a toner and I think an oil. And this one I used up very quickly because it is a very big and I kind of got a little obsessed with it, but I was, I was hoping there was a tiny bit in there so I could show you, but it was a really beady formula so it was quite thick and I thought it was amazing. You only had to use a pea sized amount, I remember reading that in the instructions, and it just like spread all over your face and I remember it working so well. My skin was so good. But unfortunately, it is quite expensive. I know some people could afford it, but I personally can't afford it not having a job or anything. So I can't buy it again, but I would love to buy it again. Like If I could, I definitely would. That sounded cool. <laughs> I have a feeling this video has gone really bright because the sun is reflecting off that tin roof and I can barely see. Whoa, everything's out of focus. Why did that just look like basically the sun? That wasn't smart. <laughs> The next thing is this. Oh yeah. The next product I used up, I mentioned in my, hopefully I get this right, February favourites I'm pretty sure. And it's a Australian Pure Beauty Sensitive Face Scrub and it has Lily Pilly, don't know what that is, and Wattle Seed in it. I must have used this product up so fast because I had a new cleanser in the next month's video and I remember doing that a lot earlier so I must have used this in like three weeks or something. That seems crazy. How long is it meant to take to use up like 150 ml cleanser? Probably using too much. How awkward. I remember this product being really good though and I didn't have any problems with my skin for it. I didn't break out. My eczema didn't flare up or anything. So I think it was a really good product. I remember not going back to it though because I just want to try different stuff. So it was good, like I'd obviously buy it again, but I'm just looking around for different stuff. So I suggest you try it out because I remember it being quite cheap and it's very natural too, which is very cool. 
Yeah, it says here it's 97% naturally sourced. The next thing I finished up is my Billy Goat Soap, which sounds really weird, moisturizer, and it's for sensitive skin. I'm not sure if many of you guys would have heard of this brand, as I mainly use it because I have quite sensitive, dry skin and I tend to get eczema on it. And I know that this product is great for those type of skin issues. So if you have eczema, dry skin, just any sensitive skin of any sort, I really recommend that you try it out because it's not irritating at all. It has, it has to say half of this, it says no parabens. Parabens? That's a weird word. Probably saying it wrong. No SLS, no nasties, no fragrance, no color, and no animal testing, which is also great. So obviously I bought this again, and that's why I have a new packet right here. Look how different it looks. This one's so flat. <laughs> but yeah, so obviously I bought this again, and it's a great product, and I'm going to keep buying it probably forever, unless I find something even better. But I doubt it, because I haven't had any issues with this, so it's all good. The next product is... Huh. <laughs> I couldn't tell what it was. They feel so weird if you don't look. I'm pretty sure I didn't actually finish up this product. <laughs> that makes it sound like it was horrible and I just threw it away. But that's not why. It's because it was mascara and I'm really strict about not using mascara for any longer than three months because I sometimes have really sensitive eyes so I don't want to trigger any more problems because that would be really bad. The mascara that I used up is the Maybelline, the Mega Plush Volume Express Mascara and it's in the shade Brown and Black, which I bought by accident. I was meant to just get like blackest black, but made the mistake and it was kind of really annoying. It still has a little bit of product left, but not enough to want to keep it or anything. But I remember really liking this. I think it has amazing qualities to it. Like, I love the fact that it has a gel formula. My mom has the same one and she loves it so much. It's good because when you touch your eyelashes, they're soft. Like right now I'm not wearing it so they're not that soft, but usually it's just soft. And it's odd because why would your eyelashes be soft? But it's kind of great in a way, I loved it. I also like the fact that there was a bendy brush. And I can't remember why, I think it just made it a little easier to control the brush, which is obviously great. The actual brush though, it is very good and I think a lot of people would love it, but I'm really into bigger brushes, <laughs> not that big obviously, but bigger and thicker brushes. I personally didn't love it because I love having really big lashes and this just looks a little too natural for my liking, but if you love having natural lashes, natural looking lashes, then I recommend that you try out this product and I'm pretty sure it wasn't too expensive either, but I'm personally not buying it again. This next product, I'm... She's putting her head on my pillow. Are you serious? Oh, I'm just gonna get a little dirty. The next product, I'm pretty sure it took me like nine months to use up and it'll make sense once I explain it. This is the Model Co Gradual Tan Everyday Moisturizer. I bought this before my year 11 formal because I didn't want to look dramatically different as you can tell I'm very pale and I'm probably glowing right now because the sun's on me. So I didn't want to look too different because obviously I still want to look like myself at formal. Um, so this just gave me a really nice glow and I was slightly darker but it looked really natural and I didn't get any negative feedback on it, not that I know about. There might have been people bitching about it, I'm not sure. But I personally thought it looked really good and I'll definitely buy it again and I'm considering buying it again for my year 12 formal this year which is actually in a few months. How scary, I'm not very prepared for that. I didn't have any problems with my eczema or dry skin with this which is really surprising because it's definitely not a natural product. So that was great and I think I might use it again this year unless I discover an even better one. But again, I want to still look natural so this might be a safe option. Next was my Batiste dry shampoo with a hint of colour and this was for brunettes. I remember loving this product. I think this is probably the best dry shampoo out there as everyone would have said on YouTube by now. But I think the coloured version is great because I found that the original formula was a bit difficult because it was a bit powdery. My dog is standing up behind me. Hello. One second guys. Come here, Mr. Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> I'm probably gonna do a dog tag video, and I know I said this. I love touching your tongue. I know I said this ages ago, but I promise I will do it sometime. 
hopefully one time when she's calm like this because if I had to do a video another time oh my god she'll go crazy <laughs> my camera cut off again as it does in every video yay I don't know when it cut off either hmm I don't want to have to redo like an entire thing again but the next product I'll be talking about is my clear cell pimple cream and it claims that it can make your skin clearer in four hours which is a very big claim to make and I think I bought this back in year 8 and I'm in year 12 now and honestly over the years I've never noticed it work I've never noticed it reduce the size of a pimple or the appearance of it or anything so I don't recommend it at all I don't like spot treatments I'm kind of against them because I think that it does a lot more harm to your skin in the long run than it's worth using this for just to get rid of one pimple that even makes sense, I don't know, but yeah, I wouldn't recommend it, and I will be talking about a more natural alternative to spot treatments in my April favourites, because it's a lot better for your skin, and I really don't recommend these, try to avoid using them, they're not good for your skin at all. This next product is so funny, because you know when you use like eyebrow pencils and eyeliners, most people just like throw them away like as they're running out, I was that dedicated to this eyebrow pencil, but look how tiny this is. <laughs> Look, it ends there. <laughs> I love it so much. It's so cute and tiny. But this is, I don't even know the full name of this, it's cut off. I'm going to guess this. It's definitely Maybelline. It's a Maybelline Master something. It doesn't even say Master anymore, it says Master. <laughs> but this is a Maybelline eyebrow pencil and this is the one that they still sell now. I bought this about six months ago. And this was in the shade Soft Brown. I know that they still sell this product as I'm still seeing it in stores. But again, I didn't buy this because I'm looking for better ones out there. And I actually did find a much better one, which I'll be talking about in my April Favourites video. I did really like this eyebrow pencil though. I found that it was a really good colour for me. And I really liked how waxy it was. And this little, what are these called? Like spoolies or something? Probably not called that at all. This little brush thing at the end it was really useful. So I did love this and I really recommend it and it's not too expensive either. It still works. Woo! <laughs> Imagine if YouTubers did that all the time. They're like, well oh, this is my liquid eyeliner. And then they just start like drawing a picture for like next five minutes. I wonder if this could be anything. Comment below what you think this looks like. It'd be awkward if it was something really inappropriate. <laughs> Do you know what is the best feeling? Knowing that I can now throw all of this out. I've had it in this little thing for so long and it looks so messy and now I can throw it out. Oh, the best feeling. Anyway, I'm done now guys. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below if you have any questions or just anything you want to tell me in general. Also, subscribe to my channel below that little red box thing. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. Bye guys, thanks for watching. But I have recently don't know how to do it. How to I personally love really big and voluminous. It's voluminous? <laughs> Sounds so weird. Anyway, I'm going to continue. I love this.